Every day, Urashima went down to the sea to fish for his family and for himself. He caught lots of fish. He was a very good fisherman. Except for one day, he waited and he waited, but not a fish did he catch. At the beginning of the story, Urashima catches the turtle. Um, he's a fisherman, so he's waiting to catch fish, but instead catches this turtle and decides uh, couldn't possibly you know, make that into turtle soup. It was just too, this beautiful creature. So throws him, her back into the sea. Splash! Down they went. Urashima uh, is taken down to the bottom of the sea by turtle. And she, in fact, is the princess, Otohime. And his adventure begins. He meets the sea king and the palace beneath the sea and the beautiful Otohime, and he falls in love. And she takes him on a tour of the, the palace beneath the sea. But then he has to go back. Oh, no, please, don't leave. I'm afraid I must go. I've been here for three days. He thinks he's been there for three days. And then he goes back to his village and finds out that he's been, he's really been gone for 300 years. And uh, he takes back with him what's called a tamate bako, this box. But remember, something very important, Urashima-san, never open the box. But when he opens the box, out comes some smoke, two puffs of smoke. In actual fact, his age, she's Otohime, his lover, has been saving his age in this box. And he turns into a 300-year-old man. At the end of the show, of course, it's, it's the end of his life. And so the sun is setting on him. And uh, it's, it's a symbol of the end for Urashima. Owari, which means the end.